Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Esmeralda. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, um, we are going to begin with our class. If you remember yesterday, we mentioned that today we are going to start section three. But before that, I just need you to tell me if everything is clear for you or if you have questions. No question, teacher. Nope. Okay, and have you been working on the exercises we have in the platform? Yes. And are the exercises okay for you or have you had any problem? No, no problem. Okay, excellent. So we are going to continue. So we are going to begin with the third section that we have for this module. And can anyone tell me what is the name of the unit that we are going to be studying? By any chance, do you know what the name of the unit is? How much is it? Okay, excellent. Yes, that's the name of the unit that, or the section that we are going to be studying today. How much is it? Okay, perfect. Um, so we are going to begin by listening to the conversation that we have there, and then we are going to be practicing, okay? Okay. So let's begin. Please let me know if you can listen the audio or not. So give me a few seconds and here we go, okay? Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, so you can see that this is the conversation that we hmm. have. And basically here we are going to be talking about demonstrative. Um, what are demonstrative pronouns? Can anyone tell me? Or demonstrative adjectives? This. Okay. Which? Okay. Excellent. So you said this, that. Which other one? This, that, those. These and those. And do you know what the difference between all of them is? Near. Uh huh. Near and far. What else? Excellent. For singular and plural. So we are going to be studying that in a few minutes in more detail. And first of all, I need two volunteers for this conversation. Thank you, Esmeralda. And who else? Excellent. So let's begin, please. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. 
Is red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this. Mm, yellow is really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right here, right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, excellent. Uh, do I have two more volunteers? Here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Alex. Me? Who said me? What I have to do, teacher. Okay, we are going to practice the conversation, Alex. But okay. I need to know who else said me. Yen dijo eh, me. Eh, me. Tamara. <laughs> ah, Tamara, yeah. I have a question. Uh, were you able to access to the platform? No, because I have problems about this. Me. Eh, parece lo que por muchos intentos de entrar. Sí. Por algo. Reporté eso el día de ayer, ¿verdad? Que usted me comentaba y me dijeron que iban a revisar. Entonces probablemente aún no, no han solucionado. Le voy a pedir entonces un poquito de paciencia porque sí estamos bastante saturados con mensajes, ¿verdad? Y ahorita se están contestando así por orden de, de, de llegada. Y bueno, yo siempre pregunto, ¿verdad? Y casi a mí me contestan al instante. Entonces... Vamos a estar pendientes. Voy a preguntar mañana, ¿verdad? Para solucionarle eso a la brevedad posible. ¿Ok? Ok, gracias porque realmente me... O sea, me... Es bien feo. Sí, la sí. comprendo porque ya estamos a mitad de módulo prácticamente y sí, necesita... Sí, no he podido entrar. Vale, no se preocupe. Entonces, mañana voy a preguntar y cualquier cosa ahí le estoy notificando, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you. So let's practice. We are going to have Tamara and Alex. Okay, teacher. Oh, look at those. I'm sorry. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow one, ones. Oh, this mm, jewel isn't really a good color for me. Well, the necklace is um, bad. Which one? The blue one right here. I'm sorry. The blue one, one right there. How much is it? It's 14 too. That's exp expensive. Hey. Let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, excellent. And two more people. Do I have volunteers? Hi, I'm Raquel. Okay, thank you, Raquel. And let's see. Okay, no, Jonathan, teacher. thank you. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria, they are perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this? Mm, yellow is not really a good color for me. Well, that ne necklace uh, isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's um, 14 to that expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Excellent. And I heard someone else saying me. It must be for me. No one? Okay, so sorry, I heard someone saying me. Okay, 
So we have this short conversation and I'll give you feedback about pronunciation. Um, as mentioned before, we are studying or we're going to study demonstrative pronouns. Uh, the pronunciation for the first demonstrative that we have is those, okay? Those. Um, another one that I could notice is this word. How do you read it or how do you pronounce it? Neck legs, I go see it out. Neck legs, okay. Neck legs, okay, thank you. Um, let me see, there was another one. Ah, numbers, okay. How do you read this amount? $42. Okay. $42. Okay, 40. 40. Yes, 40. 42. $42. Yes. $42. It's not 14 because 14 is a different number, right? And if you say 14 2, you're telling me a different amount. So you can see that here we have $42. Okay. Then we have this other word. How do you pronounce it? Expensive. Thank you. It is expensive. Expensive. Okay, um, do you have questions? No, no, no. Okay, so if there are no questions, we're going to continue with the next video that is about demonstrative pronouns, and then we are going to be practicing, okay? So let me just share it with you right now. Okay, so here we go. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first Try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. Okay, so here How much we have I the video about the grammar that we are just making a review of, and you could see that we're talking about demonstrative. Also, we're talking about one and ones, okay? And we are studying prices as well. So we have the first question, how much is this necklace? Or you can say, how much is this one? And as you mentioned, we're going to use these if the object or the thing that we are talking about is near us, okay? But if it is far from us, we're going to use that, okay? So you can say, how much is 
that necklace? Or how much is that one? Which one? Because probably you don't know what is the item that they are talking about. And the other person will clarify the blue one. Okay, and the answer, because we're talking about price, it's $42. So let's see the next example. Um, let me check. Carlos, can you read it, please? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How much are these earrings? Earring? How much are these? How much does earring? How much are dots? How much which ones? How much are the yellow ones? Mm, no, if you can see, this is a different uh, question. Uh, which ones? Uh, which ones? The and yellow this... ones. Okay. How much? They are 18. 18 what? Ah, excellent. Thank you. Okay, when we're talking about prices, it's really important for us to say if we're talking about dollars or pounds, euros, etc. Okay, or because if you only say 42, uh, we may we may be thinking 42 what? 42 cents, 42 dollars. So we need to clarify that, okay? So you can see that here we have these chart that is talking about prices and let me see we're going to have Josue Mauricio can you read it please hello hi can you read the information that we have here for prices please 42 dollar 59 and 95 or $59 and 95 cents. Okay, thank you. So here you can see that we have different prices. So if I ask how much is a uh, smart TV, what can you tell me? It's $500. <laughs> okay. Alex, can you tell me the answer one more time, please? It's $500. Thank you. Esmeralda, what was your answer? Okay, so let's see. Um, if I ask how much, okay. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Okay, so we were asking prices, right? So let's see these. This is just for you to practice, okay? So if I have this amount, for example, uh, how would you read it? Anyone? Mm -hmm. $596.99 dollars. Mm, dollars? <coughs> oh, five, uh, $596.95. 95? 99. Ah, okay. 99 cents. Okay, thank you. Easy, right? Oops, sorry. Okay, so how about this? 
$1,736.05. No. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> zero. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can say and five cents or five cents. You don't need to it, read the zero. Okay, teacher. Okay. Pero, pero, okay. teacher, it, está bueno que después de 736 diga dollars and after cents. Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. Okay, so how about these? $1,500. Okay, excellent. Um, is that the only way that we can read that amount or do we have a different way as well? It's a difference. Okay, what is the other uh, way that we can read it? Jonathan said um, one thousand, one thousand five hundred. Okay, and it is correct. But there is also another way that we can mention that amount. So, do you have an idea of what that would be? Mm, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> okay. So, this is a different way that we can talk about prices. So, for example, instead of saying $1,500, I was missing the dollars, you can say $1,500, and people will understand. The same is going to happen if I have these amounts. For example, um, how would you read it? $2,700. Excellent. $2,700. So how about these? Um, let's see. I'll leave it like that. How would you read it? $3,900. Excellent. So I'm not sure if I'm making myself clear or if you have questions about it yes no está claro esto o tienen alguna pregunta it's clear teacher uh, teacher ajá uh -huh. For example, el, este, la cantidad que estaba arriba, 1,736, ¿cómo sería? 1,736, vaya, en ese caso uh -huh. sí se tiene que leer completo. No lo puedo uh -huh. dividir así como el, en los ejemplos que acabamos de ver. O sea, yo puedo uh -huh. hacerlo siempre y cuando sean cantidades, digamos así, exactas. Si yo tengo 1,100, okay. ¿sería? 1,100. Dollars. Excellent. Si tengo okay. 9,900. Uh, 9,900 dollars. Okay, perfect. Okay. Sí, eso okay. solamente es con cantidades exactas, por decírselo así. Ya si yo tengo 9,999. 9,99. Dollars and 99 cents. Okay, perfect. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. You're welcome. Um, another question? No question. Okay, not a problem. So let's continue. Okay, so we were talking also about demonstrative pronouns. This is something that you already know because you already explained it to me. 
So you said that this is used when we're talking about singular and that they are ning. These, when we're talking about plural and things that are near us or near the speech. That is when I'm talking about one or singular, but that it is far from the speaker. And those, when we're talking in plural, and as well, they far from the speaker. So I need you to tell me an example. Let's see, using any of these demonstrative pronouns. We're going to choose, let me see, Gerardo. Gerardo, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, so can you tell me an example using a demonstrative pronoun? This is mine. This is? Mine. Okay, thank you. Gerardo, can you choose another person, please? Alex. Okay, Alex, can you tell us a different example? Those earrings are yours. Excellent. Alex, choose another person, please. Okay, let me check this here, please. Sure. And Beatriz. Okay, Beatriz. Beatriz. Hola, Tiki. Okay, so can you tell us an example using a demonstrative pronoun, please? Con cualquiera. Yes, with anyone. Uh, um, This house is too small for our big family. Excellent. Uh, Beatriz, choose another person, please. Um, Selena. Okay, Selena. Um, I just need you to take a look to the object that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you an object or some objects and I need you to tell me an example, okay? So, for example, I have, um, okay. What can you tell me? Do you see them? Yes? Okay, if you already, well, if you can see here, if we're talking about one, si yo solamente hablo de uno, voy a utilizar cuál. Okay, si hablo de uno, this, okay, si está cerca de mí. Pero si está lejos de mí, utilizo that. Ok. Ahora bien, si yo tengo dos o más, en mi caso tengo tres, si están cerca de mí, utilizo this. Y si están lejos, utilizo those. Ok. So, tell me an example with the objects that you are seeing. Okay, excellent. Selena, choose another person, please. Carlos. Okay, Carlos. 
just look at the object that I'm going to show you. Um, these are these uh, this er one eraser. Is it an eraser? Just uh, look at it. That that is. Oh, sorry, teacher. Uh, it's, um, ¿Cómo se dice billetera? Se me olvida cómo se dice billetera. It's not a billetera. It's not a wallet. No. Uh, no es wallet. No, it's not a wallet. Oh, uh, un estuche, un estuche. Ah, pencil case. A pencil case. Okay. The this is one pencil case. Uh huh. Okay, just give me a few seconds. Probably I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so you can see it better. So you said? Un estuche de lápiz. Uh huh. Pencil case. English? Okay, um, let me just share it in the chat we have here in Zoom. Hold on. Okay. Uh, it is a pencil case. Okay. This, this, this is a pencil case. Okay, excellent. Carlos, another person, please. Um, check on. Um, Raquel, teacher. Raquel. Um, Raquel, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, so Raquel, what about this? This is a notebook. Okay, it is, well, actually it's an agenda, but perfect. Excellent. Let's see. Raquel, choose another person, please. Karen. Karen. Okay, thank you. So, Karen, give me just a few seconds while I get the items that I need. Okay. What do you see there? These. Uy, no veo bien, teacher. Do you see them? How do you say tarjeta de crédito? Ah, those are, sorry, I gave you the answer. Credit cards. Uh -huh. the These are credit cards. Okay, excellent. So any questions? Preguntas hasta acá? No? Okay, so I can see that there are no questions. So remember, since we are using demonstrative pronouns, uh, when we're talking about singular, meaning this and that, we're going to use the verb in singular as well. In this case, is. And if we're talking in plural, I mean these and those, we're going to use the verb also in plural, that in this case is going to be are, okay? So another thing that it was mentioned on the video is the use of one and ones. Um, let's see. Uh, let me see who hasn't participated. Brian. Can you read that information, please? Okay. One and ones. We use one and ones when talking about choosing or having more than one op option. 
Okay, Brian, can you choose another classmate, please? Um, Jaime. Okay. Jaime, we have Jaime here. Ah, yes. Or no. Tenemos Jaime, no, verdad? No, can you choose another mm -hmm. person? No. Uh, Jose Mauricio. Okay. Hi. Can you read the example here, please? Mm. Uh, you're going to read this, this information. Okay. If, if that is your car. Which one? The red one or the blue one? But the red one, yes, it is. Okay, thank you. So when we're talking, as it says here, about choosing or having more than one option, we are going to use one and one, and also we use it when we are replacing the noun. Okay, aquí ya se da a entender de qué estoy hablando yo. ¿Qué es lo que estoy reemplazando acá con one? El carro. Okay, I'm talking about the car. So, instead of saying which car, para no decir cuál carro, which one, y ya se entiende. The red one, ya sabemos de qué carro estoy hablando. Of the red one or red. the blue one, I know that we're talking about a blue car, okay? And you can see that I have two cars. Estoy hablando de dos carros. So if I ask, um, what do you prefer? Or which one do you prefer? Coffee or chocolate? Coffee. Coffee? Coffee, Coffee? excellent. Perfect. So you see, I'm giving you two options. So you need to choose either coffee or chocolate. So some of you would say, um, I'd rather choose coffee or I'd rather have chocolate. Okay, any questions? Not the chair. Okay, is everything clear? ¿En qué casos usamos once? Ah, ok. ¿En qué caso vamos a usar once? So, give me a few seconds. Let me... When, when we Good. are talking about plural. Excellent. Ok, sorry. That was on the previous video. Okay, give me just a few seconds. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so here it is. So you can see here on the conversation, the first conversation that we practiced, that we're talking here. It says, look at those earrings, Maria. They perfect for you. These red ones, okay? So you can see those earrings. ¿De cuántos aretes estoy hablando? De dos. De varios. Dos. Yeah, you can say two or you can say four, five, ten. Because if you look at the image, we have many. But probably they're talking about two. And then she answered these. Red, sorry, these red ones, okay? O sea, está hablando de los rojos. So you can see that we are going to use ones when we're talking in plural, as Alex said, okay? Uh, let me see. And then we have, well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? ¿De cuántos collares estoy hablando? 
De uno. uno. Okay, so if I'm talking about one, I'm going to use one, okay? And let me see that blue one right here. So you can see that blue one, o sea, estoy hablando solamente de uno. So if I ask or if I tell you, um, I need my markers, necesito mis plumones. You can tell me which one so, or which, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see that there, there are different colors. And I can tell you the brown one. Okay. Or if I said, I need my markers. Okay. Which ones? The blue ones. Okay. Esa es la diferencia. El one sin la S es singular. And with S, plural. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Y como decía, ¿verdad? Es para sustituir lo que es el, el nombre o sustantivo. Mm -hmm. Okay, another question. No. No, teacher. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, we're going to listen to another conversation. And then we are going to practice it, okay? And tomorrow we are going to be studying comparative adjectives, okay? Mañana vamos a estudiar lo que son los adjetivos comparativos. Así que va a ser quizás un poquito más extendido el tema. Por eso es que estamos viendo ahorita lo que son conversaciones, okay? So let's listen to this conversation. And then we're going to practice. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay. Good. It's 400. So you can see that basically here with this question, which one do you prefer? We are basically starting to make comparisons. So I need two volunteers. Let's see. Thank you, Brian. And who else? Who? Yo puedo ayudarle también si puedo, si quieren. I can tell, I can help you, teacher. Okay, yeah, but I heard a girl, escuché a una, una señorita. Selena. Mm. Selena. Sí. Ah, okay, thank you. So let's begin, and then we're, con we're going to continue with you, Alex. Okay, so we're going to have Brian and Selena. Okay, look, these, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warm. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's for $99. Would you like to have it on? Oh no, that's okay, but, but thanks anyway. Okay, thank you. Uh, so now we have Alex and Karen. 
On the first one or second one, teacher? It's up to you. Okay. Look. Oh. Piezo yo. Sí, dale. Okay. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the old one better. The old one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I, I like the leather one. I like the, the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, excuse me. How much this, I'm sorry. How much is this jacket? It's for $199. What do, what do you do like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. And two more people. Do I have volunteers? Me. Thank you, Francisco. And I think we're going to have a girl, Tamara. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Excuse me, I'm Sue. Yes. Okay, uh, I like the, I like the wool. One better, one better. The wool one, why? It looks warm, warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine. Would you like to try try it on? Oh no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. And the last two people. We're going to have, let me see, uh, Beatriz and Josue Mauricio. Beatriz. No sé si empiezo yo o empieza Josue. Okay, if you want, you can begin, Beatriz. Okay. Um, look, this jacket is really nice. Which one do you prefer? Continue. Uh, no, sigue Josué. Uh, Jose Mauricio, can you hear us? Okay, so we're going to have Gerardo. Continue, please. I like the bowl one better. The word one, we? It looks warmer well i like the laura one better it's more it's more stylish than the world one mm, there's no price tag excuse me how much how much is the jacket it's 499 would you like to try it one on. Oh no, that's okay, but but thank you. Anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. So I'll give you feedback about pronunciation. Let me see. Um, how do you pronounce 
this word when we're making questions? Why? Why? Okay. Why? Yes. Why? Thank you. Um, these. What about these? Leather. 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 Okay. And do you know the meaning of this word? Cuero. Excellent. Cuero. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. Uh, I heard some of you that have problems with this question. We have, would you like, do you listen? Would you like to try it on? To try it on. O sea, ahí lo que vamos haciendo es prácticamente es unir los sonidos. Would you like to try it on? Okay. And let's see another one. No, I think that those were the only ones that I could identify. Creo que esas fueron las únicas que pude identificar. Okay. Any questions? Teacher. Yes. How do how you say uh, better or better? Better. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Another question? No? no. Okay. No. Thank you. Okay. Um, as I was telling you before, tomorrow we are going to be studying comparative adjectives. Vamos a empezar lo que, o vamos a estudiar lo que son los adjetivos comparativos. But I need you to tell me if you have studied that before. ¿Ya lo estudiaron anteriormente? No? No. No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Okay, not a problem. So tomorrow we will study that. No me meto en eso ahorita porque sí es un poquito extenso el tema. Okay? Be because we need to study some rules as well. Necesitamos estudiar lo que son unas reglas también para hacer lo que son comparaciones, ¿verdad? So I'll show you just a little bit about it, so you have an idea. Just give me a few seconds. Where do I have it? Okay, so it is here. Okay. Give me a few seconds. So here it is. Okay, so when we are talking about comparative adjectives, or when we're making comparisons, first of all, we need to know what is an adjective. So can you tell me what is an adjective? The colors. Okay, colors, yes. What else? Tall. Okay, tall. Small. Small, okay. Angry. Which one? Angry. Angry, okay. Thank you. So, I'm just going to begin with the definition, okay? So, as I was asking you, what is an adjective? Um, let me see. Jonathan, can you read that information, please? Adjectives are the word. Uh, adjectives are words that describe or modify other modify. words. Modify? Modify, sorry, other words. And they can identify or quantify another person or thing. In the sentence, adjectives are usually posi positioned before the noun or the pronoun that they modify. They live in a beautiful house. Thank you. So you can see that there we have the definition of an adjective. And as it says, they are words that describe or modify other words. You were saying some examples, tall, small, angry. Which one 
Uh, what else did you say, sorry? ¿Qué otros adjetivos dijeron? Uh, tall. Tall, yes. Pretty. Pretty, yes. Ugly. Ugly, okay. Beautiful, okay, thank you. And another thing, since we are going to be studying comparative, um, I'm going to focus only on that. So you can see here that I also have superlative, but that's something that you're going to study um, later, okay? So one thing that you really need to pay attention with is in the following information. Um, Carlos, can you read the first part, please? Great, teacher. A comparative adjective is used to compare it to people, place, or time, or things. Times or things. 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 Okay, thank you. So since we are going to be studying comparative adjectives, it says that we are going to use it to compare two people, two places, or two things, okay? Los adjetivos comparativos, como lo dice acá, ¿verdad? los utilizamos más que todo para comparar dos personas, dos lugares, o dos cosas, okay? So we are just talking about two, okay? And just for general knowledge, we have that a superlative adjective is used when you compare three or more people, places, and things, okay? Y tenemos lo que son los superlativos, que dice que se utilizan cuando comparamos tres o más personas, lugares y cosas, ¿ok? Pero ahorita solo nos vamos a enfocar en dos, ¿ok? So, if I ask, um, if I go back to the question, uh, what do you prefer, chocolate or coffee? ¿Qué prefieren, el café o el chocolate y por qué? Chocolate. Why? Because delicious. Ah, so you can tell me because it is more delicious than coffee. Para los que somos coffee lovers, ¿por qué preferimos el coffee? Coffee, a redux fast. I'm sorry, can you say that one more time, Josué? A redux fast, menos grasa. Ah, okay, excellent. Muy cierto. What else? ¿Quiénes son los del coffee team? Ok. ¿Y los del chocolate team? So, I think that we only have Gerardo. And the others are cold. I, I like the chocolate. You like chocolate too? Ok, excellent. ¿Y los que prefieren la, la soda, es decir, coca, pepsi? No. Coca. Ah. ah. Selena says no. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to be discussing about that. Así que necesito que vayan pensando. Vamos a estar comparando lo que sea, ya sean bebidas, comidas, para que vayan repasando o buscando adjetivos, ¿verdad? Okay. Because if okay, I start okay. talking about Coke or Pepsi, que son las más, ¿qué? Probably the, see, the most popular. Um, which one would you prefer? Pepsi? Ah, la dos, dice Gerardo. Okay. Coca Cola. I prefer Coke. Coke? Okay. No, yo creo que yo me quedo con el café, honestly. Pepsi. Pepsi? Okay. <laughs> No, yo, yo si hablamos de bebidas, prefiero más juice, los jugos, o los jugos naturales. ¿verdad? Ok. Water. Water, yes, I love water. But at the same time, I love coffee. Ok. Coffee. Yes. Ok, so tomorrow we will continue. I'm going to explain you some rules that we use when we are making comparisons. And we are going to be talking or we are going to be making our own examples, okay? 
Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. okay, teacher. So that's going to be all for today. Thank you for coming and see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.